Hello, hello, welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined today with a man who light sails in the Hudson River, Tom. Hello all, and welcome back. Today we will be exploring distributed load testing on AWS, a solution that simulates thousands of concurrent connections to a single endpoint. So really a useful tool for anyone iterating on their application development and performance. It's absolutely right. All right, let's get into it. So Tom, talk to me about distributed load testing. What exactly are we testing as part of this? So imagine you're a developer, you've built your application, uh, you know it works because you've done your unit testing. What you need to know next is, is this going to perform in production and is it going to perform at scale? So scalability is important. One user is one thing, but testing it for a thousand is different. Exactly. So All right. this solution builds, builds out a framework where you can easily test your applications under load by using uh, Elastic Container Services mm -hmm. uh, to spin up containers that will create hundreds and hundreds of connections to your endpoint and you can spin up hundreds and hundreds of those containers. Awesome, so this is our landing page. Walk me through this. Yep, so like all our solutions, we have a link to a CloudFormation template. This will spin up the solution in your account with a couple of clicks, mm -hmm. uh, a detailed deployment guide, and we also have the source code available on GitHub if you want to take it, customize it, and do your own thing. We have a wonderful architecture diagram. Let's walk through that. We do, it so the solution comprises really of a front end and a back end. Um, if we start with the front end, we have uh, a, a web console, a UI, mm -hmm. that we can use to interact with the solution, and then a API. So that allows you to create tests, view status of tests, rerun tests, delete tests, that type of operation. So the UI comes from the CloudFormation template. This is where the users actually start configuring the test itself. That's right. So from there, we then have the back end, and mm -hmm. that comprises really of two things. There's a Docker pipeline, and then the actual testing engine itself. And where's the Docker pipeline coming from? So the solution uses a open source software called Taurus. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, come, there is a Docker image available on Docker Hub that you can use. And that allows you to generate hundreds and hundreds of concurrent connections to an endpoint. Uh, it also supports uh, JMeter and Gatling, which are other testing tools that okay. are very common in the in This the is market. the actual testing part of the image. So this is the, the application that's going to do the testing. Okay. And that comes in, in the form of a Docker image. So our backend pipeline is going to take that image, uh, package it up for us, put, and push it out to S3 in the customer's account. And then we're going to use code pipeline and code build to then build that image and register it with our Elastic Container Service. Where is the actual testing occurring? So the testing itself is being run in AWS Fargate. Okay. So AWS Fargate is a managed service that uh, will let you run your containers on the Elastic Container Service without having to worry about networking or the underlying infrastructure uh, or anything like that. So it's literally just spin up a task, run the number of containers that you want, everything else is taken care of. So Fargate's actually really taking care of that back in that area where you don't have to worry about the scalability of its performance Exactly, part. so that's the core of, 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 of the solution. Really. Okay. Uh, and then around that we have a, a, a Lambda function that will take the requests from our API and that's what's actually running the, the tests. So okay. It's going to store a, a test template in S3 uh, it's going to store all of the information that we're collecting in Dynamo, and then we're using SQS to queue up those tasks in AWS Fargate so that we can start spinning up our containers. All right, so can you show me a little bit about the front end on how we configured some of these tests? Yeah, so uh, it's a nice simple uh, front end. There's a dashboard. If we go back to that, you can see here, here are a couple of tests that I've set up. I've, okay. got, I've got one running, I've got one completed. Uh, from the create test page, um, it's a little warning here saying that we currently have a test running, so let's not kick off another one. Okay. Um, the reason for that is all of the inf all of the containers will be sending information back to the same location. So currently it doesn't support multiple tests running at the same time because okay. your aggregated results would be a mixture of the two. But as part of this UX out of the CloudFormation template, we're gathering some base information on how to configure the yeah. tests we want to run. So give it a name, give it a description. Task count is the number of containers that you want to run. Mm -hmm. uh, concurrency is the number for each container, how many concurrent connections that's going to create. Uh, and then a ramp up time and hold time is how long am I going to get from start to get up to that number of concurrent connections, and then how long am I going to hold that test for. Okay. Uh, uh, currently, we support single endpoint, uh, but you, we also support uh, different get, put, post and delete operations, 
and you can actually pass in headers and payload of body text if you So need a lot to. of flexible information to run as part yeah, of the so test. Yeah, so you can, there's a number of ways you can test different types of endpoints. Do you have a test currently running? So I have a, I do. We've got a running test here. Um, this has been running for a couple of minutes, so here's the details of the test. And you can see I asked for 20 containers, and I've currently got 20 containers running. Once that's finished, mm -hmm. uh, on the back end, uh, each of the containers will run their tests, take the results, and then store that as in the form of an XML file in S3. And then our back end Lambda function, once all of the containers are finished, will take that information and aggregate it and, uh, and pass all of that information into Dynamo. So how do we see some of the results? And so if we look at a completed test, again, here's a summary of what we asked mm -hmm. for. And then here's our results. So we've got average response times, latencies. Uh, we're getting a CloudWatch, met a CloudWatch metric so we can see how we're performing. Uh, a number of other uh, data points. And we're also getting a history. So you imagine you could run this once, uh, do some fine tuning on your, on your endpoint, on your API and then rerun the test again to see how, how that improves the, the, the response time. So developers are able to iterate and see their results over time of the improvements they're making to their application. And the most important part, they're seeing it at scale. That's awesome. So thanks for walking through distributed load testing. You're welcome. So that was a deep dive into our distributed load testing solution on AWS. This solution removes all the complexities of generating load to test your applications at scale. Thanks for watching. Launch this AWS solution or other solutions via our webpage. See you next time.